movie? A movie means contractors, inspectors, strangers judging my carpet. What are we talking about, staging? We talking about a faux ficus. A faux ficus. Nobody's gonna be a faux ficus into my house. You could use open door, sell your house directly to them. It's easy. I guess we're moving. Cap, cap, what cap, you cap. gonna ask me about next, man? Practice? In the community, Toyota is where you are. Bringing people together, celebrating, making memories. Join us each Wednesday and Let's Go Places. Driven by your Southern California Toyota dealers. We make it easy. I was sitting at a red light out of nowhere. I just got rear-ended. I reached out to Morgan & Morgan directly from the scene. Morgan & Morgan got my initial offer 10 x It is so easy. At Pechanga Resort Casino, you can rock and roll, sip and slide, twist and shout. Play your perfect combination at Pechanga Resort Casino. This is KCAL News Mornings. Good morning, everyone. Today is Sunday, May 19th. Welcome to KCAL News at 8.30 on CBS. Also streaming on CBS News Los Angeles, I'm Rachel Kim. And I'm Shiba Turk. There is a lot going on in your world today, and here's some of the major stories we're following. Police say a woman shot and killed a man who came into her home in Morovia. So far, she's not facing any charges or details on why. The FBI warning about potential threats against Pride events as the first major Pride event of the season kicks off in Long Beach. How police are keeping people safe. Then peddling for a good cause. We'll take you live to the Tour de Pier in Manhattan Beach to see how the cyclists are holding up. A lot to talk about this morning, but let's start off with a check of your next weather. Meteorologist Alex Bisson joins us in studio. Happy Sunday, Alex. Hi, Shiba and Rachel. Happy Sunday to you. It is cloudy. It is gloomy this morning. The May Gray is holding on really strong and you know we've got more sunshine but it's going to take a little time to get there uh, it'll be this afternoon by the time we start to see uh, the sun peak out we are looking at that deepening marine layer across the coast the valleys all the way into some of our uh, mountain passes to up through the 15 freeway and up through five uh, i5 as you make your way just north of santa clarita so again the clouds will clear a partly cloudy sky today temperatures below average in the 60s we've got low 70s 70s in the valleys today, so areas like Woodland Hills, Reseda, Glendale, low 70s, upper 70s in the Inland Empire, mid 80s in the high desert. We've got those onshore winds strengthening as we head into this afternoon. We'll talk the details of what to expect for the week ahead. That's all in just a few minutes. Back to you. All right, thank you so much, Alex. This morning, crews knocked down a major emergency fire. It took 126 firefighters more than 90 minutes to put out the flames at a vacant two-story hotel. The fire broke out just after 3 this morning at Selma and Wilcox. That's about a block away from the Hollywood Post Office. The fire was burning in the basement, the main floors, and the attic of the building, but no injuries were reported. A man was shot to death Friday night in Monrovia. The police have not arrested the woman they suspect of killing him. Investigators say a woman called 911 and said a man with a knife was at her home on Shamrock Avenue, and she said she had a restraining order against him. Well, by the time police arrived, the neighbors heard gunshots and the man was dead. Neighbors say they had seen the man multiple times. He did not live there, but I had very, very minimal experience with him, and it was not pleasant. <laughs> Just saying. Police say they talked to the woman, but they have not arrested her, suggesting it may have been a case of domestic violence. Neither the woman or the man have been identified. Long Beach Pride is kicking off Pride season, and security is top of mind. The Long Beach Police Department says it's added extra staff this weekend to make sure everyone has a safe time. The FBI and the Department of Homeland Security issued a warning for potential violence from foreign tourist groups at LGBTQ plus events. Not just in the States, but overseas as well. Last year's Pride Month also had safety concerns, but this is something organizations usually are prepared for. Events continue today at Long Beach Pride with the parade kicking off at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. A bike ride to fight pancreatic cancer is underway right now in Manhattan Beach. But it's a little different than traditional rides. KCAL News reporter Tina Patel live in Manhattan Beach to explain why. Good morning, Tina. Hi there, a great turnout for the 12th annual Tour de Pier. It's so loud here, it's hard to tell. I want to show you what's going on. There are 300 bikes that have been 
played out here in front of the Manhattan Beach Pier, and there are riders that are going to be off.